Hey folks, I'm just going to make a quick comparison here on the, the Dolly Vision on a OLED TV and a LED TV. So we're going to look at the dark shadows and the, and the HDR. So you can pretty much guess which TV is which, right, for now. Um, so right now, in, in, in the dark scenes for um, this movie, the this TV show, The Witcher, you can see that there's no problem with the, with the darkness in this scene here. You know? But pretty soon when we get to a scene where it's pretty lit up with the torches and candles you're gonna see the difference between um, the effects on the OLED and the LED if you watch my videos before this you pretty much know which one's the OLED and which one is the LED if you don't know right now but I just wanna sh show you guys um, that as far as HDR goes and as far as W Vision on a, on a show or a movie, the OLED seems to run better in dark scenes. And then you'll see why in a, in a few seconds here. So right now, you can't really tell anything in the background with the darkness. Everything seems to be alright. And I know it, it's hard to tell in the video, it doesn't really pick up much, but you, you'll, just, you'll get the general idea. So let's see how this scene is here. You can just, you can see like in the darkness, little uh, effects on the right, the TV on the right, where, where the light, you can see the outline of the light bleeding in. Right? Right there. See? Your Majesty, the Milk Guardians will breach the castle gates. Have breached. My powers could not hold them any longer, Your Majesty. Now what? What can we do? So clearly, um, I'm clearly, clearly you can see that the, the, the TV on the left, which is the OLED, um, it's running a lot better than the right side, which is a LED TV. It's time. Wait, where are you going? So the in the darkness, because this 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 show is pretty dark, but in the in the dark scenes, you can see the. The light effects, uh, the halo around, you know, the lightness and between the light and the dark. But on the OLED, there's not really any indication of any residue or lights or halos. Or, but clearly on the TV, on the LEDs. I don't know if it's because I'm running Dolby, Dolby Vision, but so as far as as far as the <clears throat> HDR and as far as the light effects in the darkness and the dark scenes, OLED HDR TV runs much better in the dark. The face of the inevitable then an LED TV should always so I just want to demonstrate that another thing uh, I want to mention about um, 1440 Hertz 
or uh, 120 hertz on a 1440p. Um, um, I'll show you guys real quick here. All right, so let me go here and quit the Netflix. So now, if you guys were to run your, if you want, if you guys were to run your HDMI through the receiver to run, um, I'll show you here. So, for instance, right now, oh, I have two, t the both these these TVs on. Let me go shut down one, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, let's shut this one down. Okay. Show you guys something real quick. Just want to mention, um, some people, if, if they have a, a Adobe Atmos receiver and, a, and a, a TV that can do 2.1 HDMI, um, when you run your when you run your HDMI when you run your HDMI through the receiver, you think you you, you think you're running true 120 hertz, right? So hang on, um, I'll show you guys something here. Just gotta wait for this TV to click off, then I can switch this. Okay, so here, so here on the TV, I'm running 1440p and 120 hertz, but I'm running this through the receiver. So if you look here, it'll say my, this TV can do 4K. That means that if this, this is all check, that means you're not running, you're not running true 120 hertz. So if you go to, um, if you look at, if you look at the video modes, so you get the you know you get all these check marks right, but I'm trying to run 120 hertz right. So you see where the the three the what is it the allow auto low latency mode and the allow the variable refresh rate. Those are not if those are highlighted. If those are highlighted, you won't be able to you won't be able to really play video games in 120 hertz so i have it i have it through my receiver right now currently so that i can um have the the dolby atmos surround because there's a lot the dolby I, I wanted to run a dolby atmos thd which is what uh the total harmonic distortion um versus the the one that i ran through the the that came out of the TV for the ARC, the ARC. So I wanted, like I said, I I wanted to run the W Atmos THD, but I wanted to run it through my receiver, um, and I so I, I just put at this mode here, but I'm not really running. It's not really running uh, the low latency and the. The, the variable refresh rate just just keep that in mind now if I really want to run the low latency and the variable re refresh rate uh, you would just go to my old video you would bypass the, the receiver you would bypass the receiver and and then um, then you would run the you would run your wires through the arc to get the Adobe Atmos right so if you want to get a, if you want to get true 120 hertz um, through your TV that has a 2.0 2.1 HDMI, you would bypass your receiver. You would bypass your receiver, and that's how you get the low latency, uh, the auto low latency mode and the uh, variable refresh rate, and that's that's the true form. Now if you if you ran your if you were to run it through the HDMI, if you were to run your HDMI to, through the Dolby Atmos receiver, and you're getting like, uh, you know, 4K or, or 1440p and 120 hertz, like it says right here, 
you, it might say that, and and you and you can play, you can play just fine on on you know video games, but you're not really running the low latency mode and the variable refresh rate. So it's almost like you're better off running this uh, at 4K at 100 at 60 hertz because that's the same thing when when this is on. But I just want to mention that. So um, if that sounds confusing. I'm sorry, but I just want to mention that. And then uh, you guys have a nice day, and I'll talk to you guys later.